how to calculate density using math formulas. Density is a measure of how much mass of a substance is contained in a given volume. In other words, it is how compact the substance is. To calculate density, you need to know two things. You need to know the mass and the volume of the object. The formula is mass divided by volume. The unit is expressed as grams per milliliter. We measure mass in grams and volume in milliliters. We could also measure volume in centimeters cubed. So we have a second unit. Grams per centimeters cubed works as well. Suppose we use a triple beam balance and find the mass of this object to be 127.7 grams. Then we use a graduated cylinder and determine the volume to be 16.8 milliliters. Now we can do some math. First, write your formula. Density equals mass divided by volume. Then your substitution. You plug in your numbers. The mass was 127.7 grams. and The volume we found to be 16.8 milliliters. After dividing, we find the density to be 7.6, don't forget your unit, grams per milliliters. We can compare our density to a known chart and determine that the unknown substance is made of steel. Density is an effective way to identify unknown substances because the density remains the same regardless of how big or small the substance is. Here's why. Here's an object. Suppose this object has a mass of 100 grams and a volume of 50 milliliters. The density is 2 grams per milliliter. If we break the object in half, let's see how it affects the density. This object now has a mass of 50 grams and a volume of 25 milliliters. The density is still 2 grams per milliliter. The same thing happens if you break the object not in half, but into 10 pieces. This small piece has a mass of 10 grams, but a volume of 5 milliliters. The density is still 2 grams per milliliter. Here are some examples for you to try. The answers will be at the end of the video. Let's find the density of the green cube. The mass is 8 grams. The initial volume is 40 milliliters. When the green cube is placed in the graduated cylinder, the water level rises to 48 milliliters. To find the volume, subtract the first volume from the second volume. Now use the density formula, mass divided by volume. Don't forget your unit, grams per milliliter. Here is the mass of the metal cylinder. The initial volume of the water is 40 milliliters. When the metal cylinder is placed inside, the volume rises to 52.3 milliliters. Now you can calculate the density of the metal cylinder. Here is the mass of the blue sphere. The first volume is 40 milliliters. When the blue sphere is placed inside, the water level rises to 48.2 milliliters. Now you can calculate the density of the blue sphere. Here are the answers. The green cube has a density of 1.0 grams per milliliter. The metal cylinder has a density of 8.3 grams per milliliter. The blue sphere has a density of 2.6 grams per milliliter.